Hi everybody and welcome to week two. Hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good first week and you got all your, your textbooks, your reading materials, found your way through the syllabus and all of that's working well. I am on the shore of Lake Superior. You can see my wife right back here. We're about, oh, probably 40 miles from the Canadian border. Um, I'm up here checking out some equipment that I'm gonna be using later uh, this fall on an African trip where I'm gonna be climbing Kilimanjaro. Now, uh, we've got a good week coming up. This is kind of where we're gonna start getting into rhythm. And of course, we're gonna, at the end of the week, we've got a, um, a long weekend to uh, slow things down a bit. But hopefully you, you will, um, uh, you know, hopefully you're having a good time. You're finding everything all right. I've already heard from a handful of you and um, you'll be off to a really uh, a good semester. Uh, so. We made it a few miles north from where we were yesterday on the north shore of Lake Superior. What you're looking at behind me over my shoulder here outside of a grill on this deck is Canada. This whole area is called the Boundary Water Canoe Area. We found a lodge that was open that had a room open. It's basically a one room lodge or one building lodge uh, with a handful of, um, of rooms, bunk rooms if you will that was open. So we managed to do this. It's, it's literally at the end of what's called the Gunflint Trail. Up here right now, they have some wildfires all over the place, up in Canada, a little west of here. And most of the operators here, the lodge owners, people who live up here in the wilderness, have been given a, an evacuation notice, at least yesterday they were. They weren't sure what was gonna happen today. I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining also quite a bit which is very welcome news here. Most of the lodges up here, most of the vacant rooms, most of the vacant cabins are filled with firefighters who are working the fires both uh, west of here and north of here. So I am sure they are very happy that it is raining, but it has uh, prevented me from going down there by the lake and showing you some of the sights. This little lodge here operates from the same principles that we, we study in the hospitality business. I had a great conversation with the owners here last night about that very uh, that very thing, and they do subscribe. Believe it or not, these little thing, these little places, all the way up in the middle of the North Woods of Minnesota, subscribe to the Star Reports. They get the average daily rates. They get the things that you'll be looking at and studying this semester. So hopefully, you have had the opportunity to sign up for the Chia exam. If you haven't, please go do it. Hopefully you've ordered your textbook. That's not as high a priority right now because we won't be getting into chapter one for a couple more weeks. Hoping you found your way around Blackboard and you got a hold of the video slide presentations that I put up there not too long ago. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, I'm flying honestly by uh, without a safety net right now because this is my first cup of coffee in the morning. Uh, hopefully this is making sense. Anyhow, guys. Have a great week, and I promise next time you see me, I'll be shaving. <laughs>